Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Nerf Vulcan EBF 25. Now I'm pretty sure that EBF stands for external belt, externally belt fed and 25 is because the belt holds 25 darts. Um, now there is ways that you can extend the belt. Um, you take the end of the belt and screw it onto a different belt and yeah. It's actually not very complicated. Um, I did just put new batteries in this. I got it for, I believe, $17.50 at a thrift store. Um, not the good habitat in my town, a different thrift store. Um, but, so, it was actually $36, but uh, the older it is, the more of a discount you get. So this was from October of 2012, I believe. So I got like a uh, like a 60% discount on it. Um so it doesn't have the stand and it does not have the cover on the on off switch. However, it still works perfectly. Um it's got some scuffs here and there. I had to uh undo the sight on the top, which you can see here. Um it was stuck like underneath the plastic and so you couldn't get it out. But that is no longer a problem. And uh, yeah, you can look down the site. Um, belt is all perfect. I'll uh, turn it on and do a firing test real quick. It's hard to hold in my little desk chair. Uh, there is a grip, so I'm going to hold it from the grip because it's easier. And if you heard the uh, belt fell down on my on my floor, and I believe all the darts came out. Yep. And here's the belt. The belt's pretty awesome, as you can see. Nothing beats a Vulcan belt. Vulcan belts are always awesome. Now, something I don't like about the Vulcan belt that you can do on belts w on Busby guns, which is one of the few things that I like about Busby, and the reason that most people hate Busby guns. <laughs> um, uh, with Busby belts is what you can do is they actually come apart so not only can you adjust the size you can also add another belt on and wear it as a bandolier which is pretty cool because it's a really great wear way of storing an extra belt as opposed to just like keeping one in like a cargo pocket or something. Um, besides that the only other problem with my Vulcan is that the belt holder box thingamajigger um, for some reason doesn't stay in very well. I believe it's because the little tab that holds it in, the spring, is just either like not really strong anymore or maybe that piece of plastic is just worn down over many years of use. Um, now I was going to ask the guy at the thrift store if I could check out some of the Vulcans they had in the back room because you can see the employees only section from the store and not only did they have a full Vulcan, I'm not sure if it had a belt, but they also had a full Sonic Vulcan. That one did not have a belt, but I still love my Sonic guns. If you don't know, I have a Sonic Praxis, Maverick, and Barrel Break, which are all, like, some of my favorite guns. Now, at thrift stores, I have seen Vulcans for almost, for actually $6 each. Um, however, that time, uh, two of them were missing belts, and the other one that had everything was missing the battery pack. If you don't know, the battery pack is sort of like not having darts on a gun that literally needs darts to fire, such as an unmodded strife. And about a minute ago, I also uh, took it outside. I shot a bunch of different darts. Busby darts actually shoot farther than regular streamlines in this gun, which is because they're micro darts, so they get a little bit better air seal in the barrel. Um, another thing is that Elite darts, although they are elite darts, if you don't know, the darts do have something to do with the performance. Uh, they shoot about 40 feet, so there's not that much of a range increase. However, it's still better than 30 feet because 30 feet is not really far at all, especially compared to the new elite guns. But all in all, um, I'm really, really happy that I got this gun. I've been looking for Vulcans for a really long time. I've seen them at thrift stores and they've either just been way too expensive or there's they're broken or something. So even though this one does not have a stand or anything, um, I really I'm really happy that I got it. Uh, there's also a Midnight Maverick there, which if you don't know is the original blue and yellow Maverick. Um, but I didn't really want that because I do have a ton of Mavericks already. Um, 
And I think I will be going back to that thrift store because the guys seem to really know his stuff on uh, Nerf guns, which is pretty awesome to go to the thrift store and meet a guy at the register who knows a ton about Nerf guns. So, yeah, I'll definitely be going there again. I also bought my uh, Firefly there, which although my Firefly is broken now because I went to take out the air restrictors and the barrels are all messed up now, um, it is still one of my favorite guns in my arsenal. Um, so anyway, that's all. I'm sorry this video was kind of long. It's because I do really love the Vulcan, and I really love that store. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I will see you to... not tomorrow, in my next video. Bye! And just because he's my cousin, a quick shout out to Dawson Orlowski. Go check out his channel. I'll post a link in the description below. He does some really short videos, but some of them are really weird. And if you like really weird stuff, go check out his channel. Because he is my cousin, and I like my cousins. And yes, we subscribe to each other, and he's awesome. So again, link in the description below. And I will see you later in my next video on YouTube that I will have uploaded. On the computer at my dad's house, which takes a couple hours to upload a two-minute video. So I don't really know why I'm making this video longer. Bye.